Rose. Oh, I'm going first? Yeah. All right. So Jamal is almost 40 years old, but he has middle school bully energy, all right? <laughs> like he, like, look at it. This dude would give himself two for flinching at the prostate exam. <laughs> Why does nigga John look like he shopped for clothes at Aldi? <laughs> nigga wearing a thinnest fucking short sleeve t-shirt in February. Looked like he took his shirt to the deli and was like, slice this bitch thin. <laughs> the thinnest. I'm not trying to hide a deadbeat dad bod, that's why. <laughs> He's just saying that because I'm black. This nigga hates himself. No, no, I, I'm saying that because Jamal legit is a single father but that's just because uh, she ran out on them before he could. Uh, so what you try, that's what happens when you try to abandon them on colored people time. That's <laughs> this nigga just saying all the white phrases that y'all love, ain't he? Ain't he during Black History Month this nigga's doing that? Crazy, crazy work. John gets his hair cut at Great Clips. He asks for the Travis Kelsey every time. Every single time he asks for the Travis Kelsey. Jamal looks like he knows sexuality isn't a choice unless you're his son. <laughs> this nigga's just saying crazy things about black people. This nigga went on blackstereotype.com. I was like, what can I say about this gentleman? Well, he doesn't look, know us. Well, you look like you did say no homo before spanking him. <laughs> sure. Uh, John, uh, John looks like he cannot wait to make a citizen's arrest. This nigga cannot wait. Someone call 911, I've got him. He's been waiting for that moment his whole fucking life. Jamal looks like he talks shit constantly about white women, but fucks them exclusively. I fuck who's around me, all right? <laughs> Look at the fucking room. The dick's ready to eat for everyone. He does call them racist when they don't fake an orgasm, though. <laughs> Went to Black Lives Matter marches solely for the pussy. <laughs> John uh, told me in the green room that his favorite movie is The Blind Side. He always wished that happened to him. He always wished. He wants to be adopted by white people is what I'm saying. Jamal, uh, Jamal served in Afghanistan with the Air Force. Y'all might remember him. He was that dude holding onto the landing gear as the last plane was taking off. <laughs> I'm here, nigga. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to make it out. John once wrote a subliminal long post about me on Facebook, proving forever that he was transracial and transgender. That's the most white woman shit you can do to a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal was, uh, he was in the Air Force. He was a military police officer, which just means you shoot black people in other countries. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's John's dream job, nigga. This nigga's so jealous. How did you get that job? You do have, like, Denzel training day energy. If, if, it said of a, if it said of a cop, he was a GameStop manager. <laughs> Master Chief ain't got shit on me! <laughs> that nigga do love video games, I can't lie. John looks like he gives teethy head. <laughs> Jamal is what white people think a cool black guy is until they meet an actual cool black guy. <laughs> like, you're Naperville cool, but on 79th Street, they're like, yo, let's go rob that nigga the, with the Mufasa tattoo. Right? <laughs> that Dragon Ball Z talking ass nigga. <laughs> Hey, those were for John's first two times saying nigga. He was so nervous. Could you, could you tell? Can you tell the nervousness in his fucking voice? Eminem, eight mile ass nigga. This nigga. No, no, I'm good. All right, good shit. He was on a rhythm there. He had natural rhythm. I did not want to interrupt it. All right, let's keep it on. Give it up for him one more time. John and Jamal here. I'm gonna start right over there. I'm gonna start, who has a microphone first? Ah, Hunter Hurst, let's start with you, Hunter. Oh, that was great, what a treat. I love watching black guys go at it. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't
don't know if you worded that correctly, Hunter. No, I did. I, I nailed that. That was perfect. Um, I'm going to have to give it to Jamal. You guys are both awesome. I think Jamal is just a little bit more consistent. Okay, one for Jamal, one for Jamal. All right, there we go. Jetski, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing great. This was so fun. It was like Steve Urkel and Stefan were in the same room at the same time. <laughs> And Jamal, you're, you're in the Air Force? Yes. Air Force Ones, or? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. There you are. No, I do have to give it to Jamal as well. The TT headline, just put it over the top for me. <laughs> All right, two for, two for Jamal. Uh, let's jump over there. Who wants to hop in next? Who wants to, uh, here we go. Johnny, you got a mic. I see you got a mic there. I'm saying, I'm yeah, going, you know, I see he has a mic. I feel like this is, you guys wrote these in the same room together, it feels like. They're so, it's like a duo act. I don't think there's a winner. You gotta pick a winner, buddy. I know, that's why I'm, I'm trying to say it's a problem. Oh. Jesus Christ, everyone's got so quiet, like I said something wrong. Johnny's the Paula Abdul of the I'm, Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little pitchy dog. Yeah. No, I was the opposite. It was so on. I felt like you guys cheated on your homework together, I kind of think. <laughs> that's what I felt like. It was so tight. I'm just gonna have to go with Jamal too. All right, all right, there we go, there we go. Solid amount here for Jamal. Who wants to jump in here next? Mr. Eric Freddy, how are you? Or, uh, uh, Max, Max, you got it. I'm sorry, Max Source, right over there, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's felt like uh, I'm caught like the uh, anime nerd and the ROTC kid like arguing in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, between the two of you smiling, there's a lot of gum on that stage. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'll fuck you up after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, and Dungeons and Dragons, he'll fuck you up. <laughs> I will have John perform a citizen's arrest. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was an actual cop. <laughs> it don't seem like it. It don't seem like it. it don't nobody believe that. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're corrupt in the military, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, super fun battle. The military police joke was definitely my favorite, but Jamal just kept coming at him, so I got to give it to Jamal. <laughs> all right, therefore, for Jamal, hey, Mr. Eric Freddy, how are you? Mr. Eric Freddy. I'm all right. I, uh, you know, I, I wrote down a few jokes, and then Jamal said the black history line. I crossed them all out. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it does look like the typical Kanye fan and then the recently converted Taylor Swift fan up there. <laughs> <laughs> but Jamal's already got four. I'll give it to John. All right. <laughs> Stephanie. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter what I, I don't even get a, I don't even get a table. Like what it doesn't fucking really matter. I don't like how you both you can see what Hunter and my thighs look like laying down. I don't like that at all. That's so mean. I uh, <laughs> uh whatever. Um I I love yeah the shooting other people country, but the TV head just knocked me out of the park. So uh it's Jamal, baby. Give all right, Jamal. you give it up for Jamal. You're ready to give it up for John McCombs as well. Hell of a battle! Thank you so much, boys. Oh, man. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.